Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Enter the Gungeon. Today we'll be playing as the pilot, who you currently see me controlling here. We have 30 hegemony credits, so at the end of the last run, we were able to collect a few. We, I thought we saved the people who would open up the shop. Maybe that's not where the shop is, but there is a shop that you can go to, I know that, where you can spend those for permanent upgrades to the game. Perhaps they're up here to the right? Yeah, no. Okay, maybe we didn't unlock the people I thought we did. I I don't know. Let's see what's in here. Maybe they're... Never mind. They are here. Hello. You may recall they were trapped behind places. There, They were trapped in an area, and we, we saved them. So, hello, sir. Thank you for the assistance. The acquisition department is once again operational. I like the sound of that. Hey, thanks for getting us out of that cell. I think I'll just turn up the volume of my headset a little bit there so I can hear better. All right. This is the Gungeon Acquisitions Department. You can donate hegemony credits, and we'll order new guns and items for the collection. It can be hard to come by here in the Gungeon, but since the H-Mon took over, that's all anyone on the outside uses. Collection. The Gungeon is like a reliquary or some kind of museum, only for guns. So we are collecting all the best ones and then throwing them downstairs. Luckily, the H-Mon has to put the Rebels down pretty regularly, so we've got a con constant supply of new equipment. They'll sell us anything. Once they're ordered, you can find the new stuff down in the chambers, so order whatever you want. If you've ordered everything we have listed, just come back later. That's it. All right, so I think that actually explained it pretty darn well there. Uh, I did turn down the volume some because I felt the game volume was just a little bit too loud. I might turn it up just a tiny bit here. The game volume was, uh, volume was a little bit too loud when I was looking back at the uh, the VOD, the video. There we go. Let's try that. Let's try that for volume balance. We'll, we'll see. I'm still getting down the, the balance a little bit. But, um, yeah, so I, I've tried to adjust the audio. I hope it's a little bit better now. Let's start buying stuff. Hegemony Carbine. Mine. Rocket-powered bullets. Mine. RPG, mine. Thompson submachine gun, extremely awesome. Yes, please. Heart bottle. Gamma ray. All right, we spent all of our hegemony credits. We bought out the store. Uh, presumably after the next run, there'll be more things unlocked. You can see them unlocking here on the bottom. The RPG unlocked there. We're heading into the gungeon. Let me take a sip of my drink. And we shall begin. Keeper... Keep of the Lead Lord. Now, one thing you'll notice about the uh, each each of the characters you play with, they all have different abilities. So our guy here starts with this lock pick. This gives us, I believe, a 50% chance to unlock any lock chest. But if we fail to unlock it, the lock becomes broken and it becomes impossible to open. And all we can do is shoot the chest at that point. So if you have no key and you know for sure you're leaving the floor, then it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and spend it there and try and, you know, you may as well try unlocking it. So that's his ability. He also has a different weapon. Each of the uh, each of the different characters has a different starting weapon. The pilot's is like this laser-looking gun. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. The accuracy seems pretty low when I'm uh, I'm noticing it has a lot of spread when I try and fire it there. So we'll we'll find out. I don't really recall if it is good or not, but um, it's all we've got, so we'll make it count. We've got a explodey man. That was a little scary. There's a lot of enemies over here. Wow. Okay. Uh. Well, we can fire and pretty much not miss. Which is nice, I suppose. Goodness. There we go. Yeah, so we died. We died. We died actually on the fourth floor, I think, in the last one. Getting to the fourth floor on my inaugural run here on on my YouTube series, I actually felt really happy with that. I feel like the fourth floor. Oh wow! Thank you, iframes. The fourth floor will not obviously a victory. I mean, that's pretty far into it, I think. That's certainly not, like, just dying at the very beginning, which I think was, to be honest, what I was expecting to be the most likely outcome of our first foray into the Gungeon. So, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly happy with what we've been able to accomplish thus far, as little as it may seem to you. To me, I felt like uh, we actually performed pretty well. So, hopefully we continue making forward progress. Wait for it, wait for it. Boom! Yeah! Yeah! Uh, I don't expect every single run to be just amazing, at least under my standpoint of what amazing is, like my my extremely lowered standards. But uh, keep your keep your hope up, keep your chin up, keep all body parts up except the ones that are inappropriate to do so with. This is a brown chest. Uh, I probably will not want to use a key on that because a brown chest is the lowest tier chest. We'll probably use a lockpick on it, but I'll leave it for now because I, I don't want to... Um, if I just get, like, a dearth of keys, then I, I may want to open it. I don't know. Or if I'm desperate for needing something decent. It could be a desperation. Oh, that was a bad hit. You'll notice, too, starting as this character, while we do have that nice little bonus starting item down here, I do not have 
the bonus starting armor that our last guy that we played as started with. So there are trade-offs. Each of the characters feels unique. That's ammo on the ground. Unfortunately, I have no gun to put it in. I believe the rat will come out and steal it now, too. So it's not its not like you can just leave something on the floor, come back to it later, and uh, you're good to go. There is a guy who will come grab him. The rat here, I think, probably already has. Yeah, see, very quickly. The rat just swooped it up, and uh, we cannot deal with him. Thanks for the ammo. Oaf-RR. I don't know what the RR stands for. Presumably something rat, but um, he has stolen that item from the ground. So leaving items on the ground for later collection. I believe that includes guns or anything else. Not a good idea, but in that case, we had literally no way of using it, so I, I didn't really have much of a choice there. Now, that was convenient. I like that. So far, I'm actually really liking the uh, the pilot's gun, and we see a heart drop there. I'm actually back to full health, too. I'm liking the pilot's gun so far. The accuracy is certainly abysmal, but it's uh, it's got quite a few shots in the chamber. Maybe it just feels like more shots in the chamber than I'm used to because it fires very slowly. The fire rate certainly nothing to write home about. And it does not seem like clicking makes it fire any faster. For someone with bad aim like myself, though, hey, look, cheese. Oh, I shot the cheese. For someone with bad aim like myself, it's almost sort of a bonus having it have some spread to it because it means even if I miss, uh, the bullet spread might give me a chance to make a hit when I would not have expected to. So ultimately, I don't know. Maybe the, maybe it's the weapon for me. Maybe I don't. For those who have bad aim, it could be exactly what the ranger ordered, and I like that. All right, a green chest I will use a key on. Give me something good. We have gotten, looks like a sawed-off shotgun. It is the AC-15 Armor Class Non-Zero. All right, it appears to be some sort of rapid-fire laser-type weapon. Um, let's go ahead. It looks like we're about done here. Let's go ahead and pop over and try our lockpick out. It has broken. As you can see, the chest did not yield its contents to us. So all we can do is shoot it and get some junk from it, or possibly that little junk bro. No, if you fail with it, does it not even allow you to get the item out of it? All right, well, we don't even get junk if we fail then. That is that is uh, soul-breaking. Wow. I mean, it's not like, or soul-crushing. It's not like I'm going to lose my, my sleep over not getting a piece of junk out of it, but not even have the opportunity to get our little familiar buddy. It's kind of sad. We have a machine pistol. I'm honestly tempted to just buy a key in preparation for the next floor, but the machine pistol interests me. Bomb, I have no idea. I think it's an active item. It would replace our, our lockpick I don't want, our paperclip. Um, let's just go with what we have. I don't see a reason immediately to buy anything. Use the map to warp. Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar. Thank you. All right, let's go fight our first boss. We've got a weapon. We've got this um, AC-15, so. It's weird. It's got, like, the pump handle on it for a shotgun, but it fires full auto, so who knows. We are going to be fighting this time, and I'm not going to watch the intro every time, but just for the first time, so. The Bullet King and the Lead Throne. All right, let's do it. Again, weapon spread on this is pretty high. His little buddy there came after us, but to no effect. We did defeat him. Got to remember, I do have blanks to use. In fact, you know what? I just wanted to use one there. I accidentally switched weapons. I feel dumb. Sort of Molotov cocktail at us. So far, the damage from this does not seem too bad. Oh, boy. Just don't screw this up. Don't screw this up. This is not that hard to dodge. All right, that was actually not hard to dodge at all. This weapon does not do a ton of damage, but it's pretty much just hold down the button and shoot, so that makes it a little bit easier on me, and it's much better than having to fight him with... Whoop, see that? You know what? Just, just blank for safety. A lot easier than fighting him with just my basic pistol. I'm pretty sure this is more effective. We may be able to flawless him. I believe you get a bonus health if you flawless. But don't quote me on that. I'd, oh, no! We screwed up the flawless. Oh, that hurts. Well, crud. That's okay, though. This fight still went really well. I'm, I'm pleased with that. We, we got him down fairly easily. Not a flawless. We used up almost all the ammo, though. That thing definitely did not have a ton of damage output. We got all our health back. And uh, we've got the Void Core Assault Rifle. I will save that for the... Oh, whoa. Armored Core. We've got some sort of um, uh, synergy. I don't know what exactly, but we got synergy. What happens if we fire this now? Okay, this doesn't appear to be affected. Maybe the effect is on the Void Core. We'll try it on the next floor. I don't know if this is a boss-killing weapon or a floor-killing weapon. Generally, weapons are kind of divided into they're either better at fighting the bosses or they're better at fighting floors, and you want to save it for, like, a boss situation. Like, floors, I'm sure the... For example, the... Um, I always forget the name of it. The one that fires at the egg that we had before. It was really good. But, whoa. All right, so this weapon fires in three-round bursts. 
But like, I'm sure that weapon would do okay on the floor, but it's so good. Does this have a... This has a lock on it. You know what? Let's get bold. Oh my god, really? Well, there's 50-50 chance twice. That's a 25% chance of that happening. Let's keep track and see what, uh, how unlucky I get. That's also health that we cannot... Wait, save for later? Well, we've saved it for later. Um, let's use up the rest of our ammo here. But, uh, what was I saying? I was saying something that was inane. I don't remember what, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something. Yeah! I don't know if that does anything, but it looks cool. Oh, yeah, but I'm sure the, the, the hatcher or whatever it was called would have been good for... Uh-oh. Non-boss fights, but it was so good on the boss fight. It's like... I didn't want to use it up on use up its ammo on non-boss fight situations. This is feeling really good. This feels like it could be a good boss weapon, but it also seems like a good floor clearing weapon. Let's assume we'll get an ammo drop here, and I want to spend it on the void core. And uh, I, I want to use it to help me clear the rooms, hopefully a little bit more safely. Is the idea? I, I I'm really liking this thing. Maybe actually having really tight a uh, control over your aim is an advantage that I, uh, I took for granted because now that I can actually aim clearly, like this thing has a really tight spread, it feels good. But, you know, that's one of those things that we'll learn as we go here. Stop stop maneuvering, sir. Thank you. Yeah, the Void Core here. This thing is seeming quite impressive. Let's head over to the shop see what they have to say. So bummed that we lost two chests in a row. Only a 25% chance. Let's keep track of that. See what our chances get down to finally. We could buy a key. We will wait on that for the moment. We can buy ammo refill if necessary, so we'll consider that. We have the little bomber. What what is this? What are you, sir? What what do you do? Okay, I don't know. We can't we can't activate that. That's fine. I didn't want it anyway. It looked dumb. Well, that was speaking of dumb, that was that was unimpressive there, obviously. I just kinda let myself get hit. <laughs> Still getting used to the dodging. The right click to dodge is not what I'm used to on, on a game. Like, I don't know what else it would... Oh, my God. That was so bad. Oh, my God. That was so bad. I don't know what else it would be that would be that would make sense, but... Uh-oh. Whoop. 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 Oh, no. We are throwing. Uh, we're now one hit away from death suddenly. Oh, this is scary. Okay. A little bit concerned for my life. We're now going to be playing extremely defensively. Are you kidding me? Is this for real? Is that a thing I can stand on or just have to go here? Just go! That was extremely scary when you have only one hit to death. We are going less ammo conservation, more just kill everything as fast as you can! Oh, well, that run definitely was not the most impressive. <laughs> Died pretty fast on that one. Unfortunate. The uh, hegemony carbine has entered the fray. Two of them, apparently. We have rocket-powered bullets. RPG, right, this is all the stuff that we already purchased. Cool. Cool. Um, let us return to the breach, actually, because I believe we have enough hegemony credits. We should be able to buy more things from the uh, from the stock. We'll go ahead and try the pilot again. That was not a very good uh, assessment of his abilities, given that we just basically got obliterated by the um, basic enemies. It's very, very, very embarrassing. Again, I'm just learning. We only have 16 credits. I don't know that we'll be able to get everything this time. We have the box. Heart lunch box. Heart locket. Hot lead. Let's get hot lead. Check it and see. Got a fever of 103. We'll get a heart locket. And a heart lunch box. And I believe that's all we can afford. This is six. Five and eight. All right, so we got some new things. We got the heart locket, the heart lunch box, and the hot lead. We got a lot, we got a lot of H-based things this time. Giggity. Et. And, uh, that feels good. I got a little bit of a, a little bit of a hiccup suddenly. I don't know why. Please uh, bear with me on my hiccups. Dude, is this different music than last time on this floor? Because this music is banging. I'm liking this. All right. Destroy this man and end his whole life. There we are. I wish not only to kill you, but also to make sure that... Uh, because it looks like it was a self-inflicted death, you are unable to collect any of the insurance that you um, have been paying for for your whole life. That would go to your family. You uh, you are now going to be leaving them unable to pay for, even for your little bullet funeral, sir. That got dark real fast. But, you know, the, the pilot's a vindictive little sucker, so his words, not mine. I want to knock that bra brazier over so bad. Do it. 
Yes, burn, sucker. Burn, baby. Oh, this is good. I think this is wise. Yeah, everything's burning and dying. More, more, more. Aha! Oh, I burned myself. That was that was that was less ideal. That I I may have kicked it the wrong way. Still though, that was pretty effective. That that was nice. That that went well. Brazier game, a little bit tough to activate, but um, definitely usable. We found the boss room already. That was quite fast. Pleases me greatly. Got more bullet buddies here. The dude's got the Karate Kid bandana on. Much respect. Got the Ralph Macchio bullet. He's now dead. Guy's got a freaking AK, dude. Give me that AK. Actually, the AK is in the game. I wouldn't mind using it. I recall it being quite good because we were able to use it during the tutorial. There we are. That should be it for this room. All right. Off to a decent start here. Again, my aim is so bad. I've got... It's, it's hard to get used to... Um, if you're wondering why is this idiot having so much trouble. It's hard to get used to aiming down the screen with your cursor while also paying attention to bullets approaching you at, like, high speeds. The difficulty is is the keeping your eyes in, like, two different areas. Believe it or not, I am not skilled at having one eye face each direction. Uh, when, when that does happen to me and you, and you see it perhaps on stream... That's um that's unintentional. It's not like an ability that I'm utilizing to uh, increase my overall uh, play level, my skill. L ah, whoa! Skill of this dude is like straight out of Legend of Zelda, man. He's got a Link to the Past, dude, in the first area where he rescued Zelda out of her little cell. Spoiler alert for the first ten minutes of Link to the Past. I'm sorry if I just spoiled that for you. The game did come out in like 1989, though, so you know. Actually, no. Was it? No, it's Super Nintendo, so it's probably like. God, when is Link to the Past? Is that maybe 1994 would be my guess? I don't know. Now I kind of want to look it up. Hello, beautiful big chest. A key came out of the chest, and we got the heart holster. Heart on your sleeve. What does that do? Hot lead has joined the shootout. The heart locket and the heart lunchbox. What is this? Adds one heart container. Indeed, we're up to four hearts. I like it. We got more max health now. That is wonderful. I was hoping for a super awesome looking gun, but you know. I can't complain because it did give us another key back. So that'll mean that whatever chest we find next, we can uh, we can guarantee use our key on. Wow, what a what a neat find. That's a that that was an impressive looking chest, if I do say so myself. And I don't mean that in the uh, the misogynistic way where I'm I'm objectifying the chest because of its appearance. But that chest was gigantic and um, makes me feel good. Makes me feel happy that I, that I stared at it long and hard before I, I reached over and grabbed it. All uh, a 1980s song, Abra, Abra, Cadabra. I want to reach out and grab it. Ammo synthesizer. I don't know what that does. We almost have enough money for it. I kind of want to try buying it, though. It sounds interesting. Is this the Void Core? Oh, the Void Shotgun. Well, that's new. I like the sound of a Void Shotgun. Um, I don't know. What do we spend our money on? Also, how much was the Void Shotgun? I don't think I paid enough attention. Whoop. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, it feels good having more max health. Just gotta be careful not to lose it now. Save that for later, whatever that means. Maybe at the end of a level, if you're down on health, you can get some of it back. Because you've saved uh, some heart pieces. I don't know. I don't know. Back when I did play this game, uh, way, way back in the day... It was before there was all the DLCs unlocked, and I don't remember anything about that. Saving your whatever, saving your heart pieces. So there could be stuff in this for sure that I, you know, mechanics that I, I'm not familiar with. And I'm looking forward to exploring and figuring them out. You know, we could Wikipedia it. We could absolutely just look it up, but that's the, that kind of breaks the fun of, of learning games like these for yourself. If there are systems that I do not figure out, like, after a while... You know, it's not fun to just watch me floundering. Then we will look it up. But otherwise, green chest gives me Smiley's Revolver. All smiles. All right, I believe that's the rest of the floor. Ready for the boss. Yeah, eventually we will look stuff up as necessary. We'll be using Smiley's Revolver here. Actually, what is this? You know what? Before we go, let's spend our shells on the ammo synthesizer. Looks like a green milk crate. Ammo chance on kills. 
Does it mean if I get a kill, I have a chance of recovering ammo? Repurpose spent ammo from fallen gun dead. I like it. I like it. This means that we should be able to um, better preserve ammo on floors. All right, we're fighting our, our buddy here in the chair again. I've skipped his cutscene. Let's see. Oh, that looks like some decent damage. Not a lot of shots in the... In the... Um, you know what? No. Not a lot of shots in the magazine, but... The, the rate of fire is quite nice, and the damage is impressive. I want to get a perfect here so badly. Get our first flawless. Come on. We can do this. Just got to keep dumping damage down range on him here. Come on. Come on. Oop. Take him down. Oh, boy. Oh, we got a flawless. That's our first flawless. Yes. Eat it, giant chair. Only two hegemony credits for a flawless. Well, all right. Let's grab him. What about his buddy up here? Can I just blast this dude in the face? Oh, I can. Wow, that was that was actually kind of rough. Um, we'll save this for later. Wait, where did where did where that heart go? Did I get it saved for later, or did it slide into where I? Oh, there it is. Give me that. The weapon we've gotten. Is the laser rifle. Wow, 550 ammo. That's a lot. And we've gotten the master round first chamber. And yes, we now have five max health. That was indeed a max health up. So there's a big bonus that you get for beating a boss without dying. Obviously, we'll want to try and keep that going. I'm guessing this is where you can get health back. If you have, um, if you're down on it, maybe. I don't know. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we're off to a really good start here. I'm excited to see where it takes us. If you enjoyed it, consider pressing the like button. I appreciate it greatly. Subscribe if you've not done so already. And I'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Enter the Gungeon. Take care.